As you know, a lot of the vocabulary we hear in great saxophone solos comes from scale patterns. Today I'm going to show you a fun and easy to play pentatonic pattern that you could start using immediately in your own solos. You've probably already come across other pentatonic patterns. Perhaps you watched some of my older videos on the subject. Today's pattern is a bit different though, because instead of using the typical major or minor pentatonic scale, we're going to be using what we call the dominant seven pentatonic scale. It's just like the major pentatonic scale, but instead of the sixth scale degree, we substitute the flat seven. This configuration works great over dominant seven chords, and just changing that one note gives us this whole other color to work with for variety. I made a PDF download of this entire lesson that you can get for free in the Better Sax Shed. Just click the link in the description if you're not already signed up for that or if you're not receiving the Better Sax weekly email updates. Before you learn any pattern, you first need to have this scale it's based on down. You want to be able to play that over the full range of your instrument up and down. So on that PDF, I wrote out this dominant seven pentatonic scale for you to practice. <laughs> Make sure you're going slow, playing accurately, using your very best sound and staying nice and relaxed. Once you know this dominant pentatonic scale, you can apply countless patterns to it to improve your technique and give yourself some new vocabulary to improvise with. Here's the pattern which comes directly out of our brand new course, Pentatonic Studies on Groove and Soul Standards by Steve Cortica. More on that in a little bit. Listen again slowly. Now let's break this pattern down into steps and skips. We start on the root, which is G for alto saxophone. Then we skip a scale degree down, which brings us to the fifth. Then up a scale degree to the seventh. Then skip up again, landing on the second. This little four note cell is pretty cool on its own, right? But for this pattern, we're adding in a little rhythmic syncopation, repeating that last note, and then going down a step. Here's what the whole thing sounds like. And once again, slowly. Practice that a few times, and once you've got it down, we're going to start applying the same pattern to each note of the scale. This is what that sounds like. Now, I really hope this video and all my other videos help you become a better sax player. If so, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit that like button every time you watch one of these. It's really appreciated. Now, we just want to apply that same formula. Skip down, step up, skip up, rest, repeat note, step down to each note in the scale. So starting on the second scale degree, which is A for alto saxophone, it looks like this. <laughs> Then we continue for the remaining three notes in the scale. But wait, there's more. We can flip this pattern around, and any other for that matter, and play it backwards going down. Here's what that sounds like. If we want to break down the formula for steps and skips here, all we have to do is reverse the direction of the movement. So starting on the root G again, this time we skip up, step down, skip down, little rest, repeat, step down. Now learning the pattern itself in one key is just the beginning, and there is a lot of other steps you're going to want to take in order to get to the point where you can use a pattern like this effectively when soloing. And that's the purpose of the course, Pentatonic Studies on Groove and Soul Standards Volume 1. You see, one of the best ways to integrate a pattern like this into your playing is to use it over a set of standard chord changes. <laughs> 
This is how high level improvisers practice. And if you want to accelerate your own development, this is about as close as you can get to a shortcut. The first etude in the course uses this pattern over the tune The Chicken by Pee Wee Alice. That chord progression is all dominant seven chords, so this pattern works perfectly. Steve has composed a series of 14 pentatonic scale based etudes over the chord changes to some of the most popular groove and soul standard tunes everybody needs to know. This selection of tunes comes directly from the Better Tracks collection of backing tracks with the same name and they are designed to work together. In the course, you get video lessons for each etude, which is amazing. Steve walks you through what you need to know to get the best results while dropping tons of really helpful tips along the way. You can watch these over and over as much as you need to. We've also made these beautiful physical copies of the book available for those of you who are like me and prefer the real thing to reading PDFs on a screen. And of course, there's audio recordings of all the etudes and the patterns recorded on alto and tenor saxophone included as well. Right now, for a limited time, Better Sax subscribers can get this course at a discount 30% off. Use the coupon code GROOVE30, and there's a link for that in the description as well. This new course is a really effective and fun way to improve your improvising chops and I know you guys are going to love it. One of the best pieces of advice I can give you if you want to become a stronger improviser is to learn your major scale in all 12 keys. This is the ticket to entry to playing over chord changes. So you're going to want to watch this video next where I show you a great method for learning them.